Joe. Teddy Atlas, good evening and welcome to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Sweet Peas ring walk, something special in the air. You can just sense it out of him. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. And we are underway for this scheduled 12-rounder. Comes right back at him with the left hand. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Able to cover up that gut. A well-placed uppercut by Sweet Peas. up nicely gets rid of his opponent's body shot commits to the straight right gets rid of that effort now he ties up there Halfway through round number one. Now hugging on the inside. Stay away from those. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Sweet Pea. He just missed that shot up top. a stinging right hand by El Terrible. We're seeing a lot of work to the body here early on by him. Teddy, is that a certain mentality, these guys that commit to being a body puncher? Yeah, because they understand that the body punching, you know, that's not something that's glorious. That's not something that, you know, like a great left hook on the chin, bang, it gets results right away. They understand that that's something that pays off later and something you got to start early and stay with. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Finish with a hug. Ten seconds remaining in this round. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. And we come to the end of the round. Come on. Sweet Pea's commitment to the cause of being the aggressor really had him in front in that last round. Look at his opponent. Right, let's go. I want you to bang the head and the body, all right? You need to cover up more, okay? You're leaving yourself open too much. Cover up. There you go. Here we go, round two is underway. Pulls the 
trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Keep working the body. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. And he clinches yet again. Back to the body. Sweet Peas defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. El Terrible is putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Not hitting his mark there, going upstairs. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Big shot up top, he really got to him there. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. He clinches when he gets to the inside. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Sweet peas smashed by an uppercut. Not much action as he just ties up. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. They both decide to bring it. You can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happened to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive, you know that he had a good round. You don't need that, no, throw that away. And round number three is underway. Able to dismiss that body shot. Keep your hands up! He missed that uppercut. Nice block by Sweet Pea. Targeting upstairs. <laughs> nice work by Sweet Pea. He was looking for an opportunity. He got it with that counter punch. Yeah, he stepped to the side. You know, a lot of times you talk about using your jab to set up a shot. He used his legs. Step to the side. Got that opportunity. He's committed to the combination punching down. It's working out well up top. You got this one. You got this one. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. 
Blocks away that headshot. You see him holding on. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. to improve that accuracy, missed with the headshot. Early on in this fight, one of the things I'm going to look for is who's the more well-rounded fighter offensively? Who can do it all with all their punches? Well, you look for that in any sport, in any profession. You know, you look at a quarterback, you know, in football, the great ones, they can throw deep, but they can throw the short patterns. They can throw the out, the in patterns. Same thing with a fighter. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Ten seconds to go in this third round. And round three comes to an end. I need you to take some chances now. You have to take a chance with this guy, all right? There you go. You have to start throwing more in volume in there. Throw in volume. Make your presence known. Assert yourself. Assert your punches. Sweet peas up around here after three rounds on Teddy's scorecard, but really nobody has distinguished themselves to any great amount so far. Great job of protecting himself. He's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Unable to land clean by Sweet Pea. Just holds on there. Oh, that's gotta hurt. And he is down. He is down for the first time tonight. One, two, three, two, five. He gets up after that punch put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Not able to land the headshot. Little head hunting with the left. Halfway through this round here. Opponent, and then a good counter by Sweet Pea. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. <laughs> Off the target by El Terrible. Gets rid of that body shot. There's a taste of the sweet science. You see the skill he has in counterpunching. And you know what he's doing? He's taking his opponent's jab away. Back to the body. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Keep 
in the body. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Come on, kid, focus. You need to capitalize on his mistakes. I want to see that counter hook. Make him pay for his mistakes. Don't look for just big punches, okay? You... Keep doing what you're doing. Keep the jab pumping and throw the lead right here, all right? And you are winning this fight. Recovered nicely here the start of this round and he is proving to me at least that what happened in that last round is having no effect on this round Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean boxing 101 counter punching you got a guy coming at you no better way than to change his mind make a miss make him pay Oh, he just misses with that headshot. How about that exchange? Two good jabs by Sweet Pea. Get in there! Took a go of it to the body, but came up empty. Pace yourself. Oh, you're doing great. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. on the bad end of a very impressive hook up top. <laughs> Not precise at all by El Terrible. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Sweet Peas clinching a lot, Teddy, isn't he? Yeah, he is. I mean, you got to wonder if the referee's going to start coming in there, give him a few warnings right now. But he's got to get himself together. That's what he's trying to do. And then hopefully he can find a way to get on the offense. You got this one. Exchange. Nice strike after catching one by Sweet Pea. Final ten seconds of this fifth round. I like the way he looked at the end of that round. It looks like he's gaining some momentum here. He's a good competitive fight, and I do believe that he's up on the scorecards. Yeah, I have it the same way. And keep the lead, all right? I listen. Listen, stop chasing him around the ring. Cut the ring off. live action now in what has been a closely contested fight one of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in Use the jab. good block by sweet pea
engages in the clinch. El Terrible is really making some boxing purists out there put a smile on their face because his defense has been stellar. I mean, so fundamentally sound. Yeah, well, that's why he always goes rounds, and that's why people think he has an iron chin. I don't know if he has an iron chin because the chin never gets touched. Nice. He's a guy that's always going rounds because his defense is so good. wasn't even close by El Terrible. Halfway through round six. Pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Sweet Pea's got to do more than this. I mean, you can't just sit there stationary and expect the night to go your way. This fight is going opposite of how he needs it to go right now. Well, maybe it's not, Joe. Maybe he's given up already. You know, it's all about what's going on in the mind of a fighter. Maybe he's given in, and this is his way, believe it or not, of getting the ref to stop this fight. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. Watch the hook! We come to the end of this round, and for this fighter, I think that's a good thing because I was looking at him there, Teddy, and it looked like he was breathing in and out of his mouth for most of that round. Yeah, and that's a bad sign. That means that the gas tank is a little low. He's low on petrol. Just, 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 just keep it up. Just keep it up. That's it, it now, all right? It's it, nice work out there. Just keep uh, fighting smart. Keep busy. And don't take a break with this guy. You hear me? You don't need that. No, throw that away. So here we are, the start of another round. And if everything goes according to the way the first half of this fight went, he's going to be coasting in for an easy win. Well, if his opponent goes along with it, he definitely will. But maybe he'll change the script a little. Flip the script a bit. Not well targeted by Sweet Pea. Sweet Pea's got to be asking himself, at least his corner's got to be asking, can this go on like this? Can we continue to work at this work rate, throwing this many punches, and be this ineffective? So if nice. he was a painter, he nice. definitely wouldn't be Rembrandt because, you know, they're not clean strokes. They're not strokes that, you know, you look at them and they're paying off for him. I mean, he's more like doing finger paints. I mean, he's just throwing stuff oh. at that canvas, and it's not looking real pretty right now. Beat him to the punch. Unable to connect by Sweet Pea. Keep working the body. <laughs> Keep 
He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Sweet Pea. El Terrible has been able to avoid having any of his opponent's headshots landing flush. And what his opponent has to do, Joe, is make an adjustment. What we used to tell the fighters, when a guy's elusive like this fighter is right now, you have to shorten your punches up. Shorten them up a little bit, have less space to travel. They have a better chance of getting to that elusive target. what you're doing, and you got this. Just, just keep doing what you're doing. Listen, he's done. He is done. I want you to know. Keep circling, don't fight his fight. Jab more, jab more, jab more. Listen, you need to make your punches up. Throw more punches to the body, throw more punches to the body. Step up with a jab, then come back and throw more punches to the body. Let's look at Teddy's scorecard as we begin this eighth round here, and you can see that, yes, he's up, but if you've been watching this fight closely, you know that anything still can happen here. So his opponent is a real tough guy, he doesn't get discouraged continues to come with a fast pace and a guy like that you never never count out Comes right back with a shot of his own. <laughs> El Terrible is throwing a lot of punches right here, but not a lot of them are landing. And that can be very discouraging to the guy who's throwing them because he's working, but he's starting to get a little frustrated, a little concerned that he's not doing damage, as you said. That's a huge left he just scored with. What a big shot. What a turn of events. What a turnaround! He scores his own knockdown after being knocked down earlier. And that's where scoring a knockdown hurts you sometimes because now you think he's just gonna walk in and get it again. Well, he walked in, he did get it. He got it. So he was knocked down there, but now he's giving you every indication that he's fresh and ready to go back after it. Yeah, well, I think he's giving that to you because he is, as you said, just a quick knockdown. But right now, what he's got to be careful for is the same mistake again. 90 seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Sweet Pea's opponent knows exactly what the game plan can be now. That counter punch landed with some success. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. with that headshot. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Last 10 seconds of the eighth round. <laughs> and that's the end of round eight.
Sweet he's in control of things in his mind right now. Just look at that attitude over in the corner. You can tell they want a repeat performance of that knockdown round they just had. Stay away from that power hand, okay? Keep circling away from that power hand. I need you to keep moving side to side, all right? Keep moving. Don't let him get that power shot. Now listen, you need to keep moving out there. Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last round. It did do some damage, but now you can tell he's right back where he wants to be, fresh and ready as we start this round. I don't take lightly when a guy gets dropped, but you know what? I think he was more embarrassed than he was hurt. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Back to the body. Out of boy. out of it there he was stunned good way to protect the midsection Halfway through the ninth round. Well off the mark by El Terrible. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Sweet Pea. Well off the mark by El Terrible. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. Final chance, last 10 seconds of round nine. I don't know, Teddy, it just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt, where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's gonna try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's gonna feel at the end of the night. Listen, you need to move your head from side to side, okay? I wanna see that head move. He's off to a fresh start right now. That last round, he was really shook up, but he looks to be steady on his feet here. <laughs> Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Keep working the body. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep working the body. 
He just missed that shot up top and just grabbing on to his opponent. Shot blocked. Halfway through round 10. Looking good. Keep working the jam. Good, good. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. That's a good block by El Terrible. to get away from those punches. Coming to the end of round number 10, 10 seconds to go. El Terrible is showing that he has an understanding about balance, about angles, about footwork. What does his opponent need to understand to deal with it? Well, he has to figure out a way to take the air out of those tires. Give him a couple flats. That's what he's got to do. And there's no better way to give a guy a flat than to go to that body. You're doing great. You're doing fine. Really, really. You're doing great. So just keep working on the inside. Come up with the upper guy. All right? It's beautiful. Come on, take a deep breath. You earned it. Throw. Throw punches away. Start of round number 11. Teddy, I peek over at your scorecard. Now we put it up there, and I see Sweet Peas down in this fight. He still has a chance to win it, though. It's a close fight. You know what he's got to do, Joe, right now to win this fight? Not go down the stretch. He's got to go down memory lane. He's got to remember all the things he sacrificed. When his friends were out playing, when they were going out at night, they were having fun. He was in the gym. When his friends were going to the prom, he was in the gym. When they were doing all those things, he was working. He's got to remember that now and bring it home. his mark there going upstairs. <laughs> and now what just wasting clean? away some time with that clinch. <laughs> Halfway through this 11th round. <laughs> Good exchange, he fires back. And out of no 
where things can turn like that, Teddy. Everything was looking good, and now it's looking bad for him. Well, that, there it is! This is gonna take some guts to get up from this. Once again, he goes down. One, two, three, four, five. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. <laughs> Unload! Last 10 seconds of this 11th round. End of the round, a round, end of the round, a round I do believe that he was able to take. But his opponent is there stride for stride. This is going to be a close fight. Teddy, where do you have him on the scorecards? Is he up? Yeah, I have him slightly ahead. But as you said, very close fight. And the kind of fight where you let up for a moment, you're going to lose it. you got to work, all right? You've got to work. There you go. About yourself. Given a lot tonight. Now one more opportunity to give a little more. The final round is upon us. A demolishing right hand by Sweet Pea. I don't know what was said to him in the corner, but now he's the busier man. And he needs to be before any more time goes by. Halfway through this 12th and final round. Turn that hook over, but couldn't turn it into a connect. Last minute of this last round. Well timed by Sweet Pea. He took a step back, landed the counterpunch. Exactly what he wanted to do. Not an accurate hook at all. Pace yourself. Good block there by Sweet Pea. El Terrible is almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. And they will bring it home in the last 10 seconds of this final round. The judges have put down their scores as we come to the end of a very exciting back and forth fight. Let's send it up to the ring announcer to hear which way it goes. El 
Kyle Terrible's effort tonight was well rewarded by you, Teddy, sitting ringside with your analysis and looking at your scorecard throughout the evening, and by the ringside judges sitting here. Yeah, it was a steady performance, and he was rewarded the way that he should be rewarded, with the W. Good, enjoyable, entertaining fight it was. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore saying thanks for being with us.